This coverage of the 2018 SHOT Show is brought to you by Magneto Speed's newest product, the M-Series Grip System. This high-tech AR-style grip has interchangeable modules for every situation from monopods to flashlights. Check out their website or follow them on Facebook for more information. This is John McQuay with 8541 Tactical, and we're here at the 2018 SHOT Show with Chris from Drake Associates. And Chris has got a really cool little rim fire that he wants to talk to us about. Chris? Hey, John. And you know us for all the, the big stuff, the big center fire rifles that we do. What we did over the last two years, we did some development on the 17 HMR. Uh, we took some very uh, good known product, the Savage 17 HMR, and said, how do we make it better? And what we did was we came up with a very uh, um, uh, simple but um, good monolithic chassis system for that rifle that will increase the accuracy. Uh, we've done some modifications with the team over at Savage, came out with this short 16-inch barrel, uh, heavy barrel, and we did, uh, again, this development that allowed your 17 HMR now into your uh, rimfire class for your PRS shooters. Spent a lot of time working on this, and we've got a few different flavors that I'd like to show you today. Well, this is a, a really cool setup. It, it looks like you've uh, really maximized a, a training rifle for a guy that really wants to reach out, but then still kind of save some money on it and not have sure. to worry about reloading and all that. So. We, saw, we saw a few different disciplines. One was for training, one was for guys that are budget-minded, and the other one you know, that we saw was guys that are varmint hunters. Mm -hmm. You know, From what we're hearing, your coyote guys and even your small small game guys are now going to the 17 HMR. It isn't considered a magnum. You know, even though it's so small, mm -hmm. but they're using it. Well, you said guys are taking these out pretty far now. Yeah. So what happened when we when we did the design of this chassis and it's something we're doing in house in Long Island, uh, we were able to look at a monolithic chassis for this uh, for this rimfire. We didn't okay. want to have a two part chassis. We don't want any flex in the system. And as you know from the other work we've done in industry with our other partners, monolithic is the way to go. Uh -huh. So we we really analyzed the recoil, the felt impulse. Even though there wasn't a lot, we wanted to make sure that was very smooth all the way through. So we developed this monolithic chassis, the action actually locks into, and it offers a few different flavors for different shooting communities. We were able to take this gun and fire it to 500 meters down at Fort Benning after the vendor shoot at the International Sniper Comp. They were ringing E-type targets at 500 meters out of a simple little you know, pellet on steroids. So it's kind of something cool. <laughs> well, it's pretty impressive for such a compact package, especially with the 16-inch barrel. Now, this will be available in 22 as well? We have provisions to make this for a 22 Magnum, 22, and also the 17 HMR. So it may be a really good option for those guys that maybe are looking like something like this for the National Rifle League 22 competitions then. Sure. In fact, not only that, we're even able to inlet this for other actions as well. Okay. So if there are other, other rimfire actions or rimfire bolt actions, we can actually modify this monolithic chassis for that. Right now we're focusing on this system because we know that there's not much out there for it and we have done some things to put this in place to make this a really uh, unique and exclusive rifle to the community. Very nice. Do you have a, a price point on it? We have some chassis price points that we're looking at right now. A complete chassis, complete monolithic chassis with the features just under 600 bucks okay. delivered. Well, obviously you've got to pay for shipping, but that's what we're pretty much looking at. So it's got very nice butt stocks, pistol grips. Um, there's a different flavor of the, of the, uh, of the pistol grip for uh, areas that are behind well, enemy lines. I know that. Let me, let me trade up sure. here with you. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this uh, somewhat odd looking deal here. So first you see this, it's called our CSR or Compliance State Adapter. Okay. Uh, the street language around SHOT Show is Communist State Adapter for those people <laughs> behind the enemy lines. But what we looked at, we looked at the, uh, again, the linear recoil impulse. We also looked uh, at, hey, on some of the um, carbon fiber chassis or some of the uh, other material chassis, you know, where does your hand position? How do we make it comfortable? Um, we want to, uh, We have a patent on this whole system right now with this device and actually also on the chassis that we have a special interlocking component that allows this uh, CSR uh, attached to it and it'll actually now work as a more traditional type stock. For the uh, areas that are behind, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> bad areas that you can't have folding stocks, what we would do is supply you with a fixed tube. Uh -huh. We'd still give you the, the look of the tactical buttstock, we'd give you the adapter, but as you see, it'll point just like a regular rifle. You still have the same eye relief, you still have your same cheek weld, it will point exactly like a regular, almost like a regular uh, McMillan type stock rifle or an HS Precision. So it gives you some provisions for handhold and you still can have this semi-automatic gun. Right, and while, while I'm fond of a AR type pistol grip in this kind of setup, the fact that you can now get the full advantages of the chassis and have it in states where that's uh, forbidden is, is really nice. Uh, and when I shouldered it, it 
felt fairly natural, felt like a, a traditional stock, as you say. So uh, I think you guys did a, a great job on that. So now guys that are uh, in a hard place because of some uh, unrealistic uh, and unreasonable laws really have some advantages. Well, what this basically does by going this route with this, and they, at first, you know, you look at it and you say, hey, what is that? But then once you start shooting and feeling it, you're saying, hey, it feels like every other stock. It feels really nice. It, it gives me a lot of advantage. I have all the other advantages of a, of a monolithic chassis. I've got the M-lock provisions. I've got uh, tactile field points on here to really lock the shooter in. So I think really the difference between the pistol grip and this, you're not missing much. And it gives both, both competitive shooters, whether in New York in the band areas or in the other band areas or stateside with the other pistol grip, it's something that uh, there's a, a flavor for each one. Well, it does look like a really nice uh, chassis overall. I really, I like the anodizing you did on it. It kind of has a silky smooth feel to it. It does. We did a special anodize. Actually, that's a mil-spec hard coat anodized that was actually used on some of the uh, Navy Fast Vessels on some of their seats. We uh, learned from another company that's nearby us in New York that uses it on their uh, high-speed boat seats for, uh, for Navy Special Warfare. We saw that color first. We said, hey, where'd you get that? And we moved on to speaking with a company up in Massachusetts that does some great anodize. There's another color that we have, and it's downstairs. It's actually, we call it tactical purple. It's not a purple like you're thinking. It's not a <laughs> lavender. But it's a real cool, deep purple with a, a very similar sheen to it. Um, when I first saw it, I said, are guys going to like this? Well, we passed it around. We even brought it down to the International Sniper Comp their vendor shoot, and guys are picking this rifle up saying, hey, the color's really cool. So it's just something, you know, something to offer. Nice. We can also do it in Cerakote, too, and you can see some samples over there, traditional Cerakote colors. Okay. Well, overall, looks like a, a really cool product. Thanks for showing it to us. John, we'd love to send one down for you. You know, check it out, and you can maybe tell your uh, tell your uh, people all about it. Sure. We'd, we'd love to do a full review on awesome. it. Awesome. I appreciate it, Chris. Anytime. All the best. Thank you for coming, guys.